Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravels. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is a new video on my new playlist about your question and my answer. That means it's basically I want to answer each and every question. So sometimes I used to answer in a a comment section sometime in the facebook message but it was very difficult to answer your question in just a few lines so i have decided to make a video for your question and in that video i will answer your questions i will solve your problem so this video is for akash gautam he has a request that he want to display content according to the link according to as per the link is clicked that means he basically want to get the data from the url and display that data inside the page so thank you akash for this request so everyone just take a benefit of this question and watch this video till the end so that you will get easy easily how to do these things let's get on to the work this is a new installation of the Laravel and here I have made uh, about.blade.php page where I have used the bootstrap for the styling stuffs. So I have a container, a row and inside row I have a two division of call 6 and 6 and in one division there are four links. In second division we will display the content according to the list. So let's quickly connect this page to our route for that i have to go to my web.php file inside here i can say route and get and obviously about and you can just give a closer but i prefer to make a controller so i will make a controller called home controller and in the home controller there is a function called about and let's that's good so firstly we have to make a controller okay so i will just comment this before making a controller otherwise this this will give me an error so i will go here in my command prompt i will type php artisan make controller and controller name is home controller that's good yep our controller is created so let's uncomment this and go to our controller make a function and call it about return view view name is obviously about and let's make a another function for returning the welcome page that will be good okay return view view and view is welcome okay so i will just copy and paste this here i will say index and here i will say welcome and i will just delete this now go to the browser and hit enter uh, there is an error route controlling 161 oops this is not welcome this is just a home page okay now mm, yep it's working now go to about page and check that it is working yes it is working clearly so here is the link i want to display a content according to my link so when i type here and i say 25 so it will give me 25 here i think akash this is you want to do okay so let's see how we will do that for that actually you want to give another parameter here so for that you have to make a change in your in your route for that you have to just type slash and within a curly braces you have to type let's say um, name okay so you have provided a name and that means you can provide any other steps after this slash okay so as, as you can see here we have provided 25 so when I hit there will be an there will be nothing because we have not used that parameter. So let's quickly use that parameter for that we have to go to our controller and as we have given a parameter so that we have to 
take that parameter inside our function and we can pass that parameter to our view and by use of compact method I have passed that variable or that data with our view okay so go to view and I will delete this and I will use curly braces inside curly braces I will just echo the variable that means name now when I hit enter you can see here is 25 here is also 25 let's say something else let's say bit fumes and yep here is the bit fumes okay so you can see that how much easy is that but there is an error what is that error if I remove this if I not give any parameter that then it will give me an error for overcoming this error you have to do one thing you have to go to web.php and after this name just just place a question mark this show that the name is not required so when I hit enter it will give me another error and that error is due to this I have told my routes that this name is not required but after this I am getting the name variable in our function yes, but it is not true it is not compulsory that I have I have given a name for that for overcoming this error we have to just say is equal to null that means it is generally null but if it is provided then take that variable okay now when I hit enter it will give me nothing but after that I will say bit fumes and yep this give me bit fumes so you can see how much easy is that to provide uh, data from your link to your web page now what if you want to give another data that means you want to say like uh, this so obviously this will give me error because we have not set this route so let's say how we will do that it is simply easy after name we want another uh, parameter which says let's say uh, last name okay so last name will be here and obviously we can it make it optional now we have to go to our controller and inside our controller I will say same thing last name and obviously make it and its name now and obviously make it null and similarly we will pass that last name to our view by using compact method and let's see it's working or not and here it is good here it will say webnologies and yep no error that means it is working but we have to echo this here okay so for that I will go here in the view and I will say last name and let's say and yep here bitfume slash webnologies and bitfume webnologies is there so I think I guess you get the answer of your question the solution for your problem so like Akash if you have any problem please feel free to comment me if possible I will answer in you answer you in the reply but uh, if not possible I will make a video for you and there is also much more requests so I will make a video for you only for the pending questions so don't worry i will answer your questions in in a video also so please follow me and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe like me on facebook instagram and twitter and you can ask questions there like many of our subscribers are asking question there and i got many of the questions and i have replied them also <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of the laravel that the best thing so we will meet in the next episode and hopefully with a great question and obviously the excellent solution so till then keep watching bitfumes bye bye